<laughs> okay, so I know you're not allowed to have people over. So Alicia has invited. Uh, these are her lockdown friends, and they're all sitting, and it's so super weird. Who are they talking to? Is this? It's like the meeting of the plans. I'm trying to give them all the sun they need uh -huh. because it's winter. Yeah. We, Philip and the boys took me to get a couple of new plants and one of them got knocked over. Gunnar was trying to help me water the plants and it got fallen over so I put up this great big baby <laughs> gate all the way around the wall. But this is where we're getting the only sun we're really getting into the house right now. So they're all in a gathering. They look like they're having a meeting call. <laughs> 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 they it's amazing. They all need to get potted today and so I'm just trying to give them like some space <laughs> overnight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody look at this. Guess where we're going. Oh, where are we going? I'm going to get a plant. <laughs> we're actually traveling to a, a town that I actually used to work at in a school there. And there's a lovely lady that works or that lives in a town like even further than that who works in this town and she's giving me a great big piece of one of her philodendrons because my Phil that I really, really love plant. Oh, hey, let's um, show Phil because he's in the middle of the meeting. Yeah. So, so all of his oh, leaves. Oh, look at Phil. Fell off and all of his bulbs are there and he's still alive, but he doesn't have any leaves. We <laughs> left him, I put him outside the studio when we did the staging for the studio and I left him outside for probably an hour and a half and he got completely burned, sunburned, and all of his leaves fell off. Yeah. So I've never had that type of plant before. I really didn't think it was that sunny of a day. It was kind of overcast and it killed him. Well, he's not dead, but he got fried, literally sunburned. He did not wear his SPF 50 and <laughs> he now needs a friend to help motivate him to grow his leaves again. So yeah. this lovely lady, Laura, who lives uh, pretty far from me is meeting me halfway in the town she works at to go take a piece, which she's giving me for $25, which is a great deal. Cause when I originally bought Phil, he was almost a hundred dollars. He was the most expensive plant that I had, that Philip had bought me and he's still alive, but he needs some encouragement. So we're going to go get him a friend. <laughs> okay, let's go. Ready? Our porch feels gigantic because we moved the couch because we're going to be doing some work in here over the next couple of weeks. So no couch. So now it's just like a dance studio until, <laughs> until we're done. Okay, let's get in the car because she's waiting for us and I ordered you pizza. Let's go. And I ordered you pizza from the place that we used to go sneak and get pizza when we were first dating and we would go get that most delicious pizza. Oh, That's where I ordered. Thank let's you. go get it. Oh, and? And she I... was the sweetest lady I have ever met. And she actually separated two other of her favorite plants to send for me. So not only did I get a fill replacement, a fill 2.0, <laughs> but I also got two other new plants. So super nice. And already in my head, I have an idea of something I want to make for her because she was telling me all about her plant collection. And I've ordered something that I'm waiting for some supplies in the mail for something I want to make. And I know she'll want one. So I'm going to make two so I can repay the favor and drop it off her because now I know where she works and I can go in and leave her a surprise present. And I think she'll for sure know it was for me right away when she gets it. So super excited, but let's get them inside because it's minus 11 today and these are tropical. <laughs> I kept her box so I can refill it with some Goodies. separated plants. Yeah. <laughs> going to the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Going in the meeting room. <laughs> They'll get potted today. Good. Gunner did so good? Yeah. Good boy, Gunny. Chase is proud of you. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. All right. So we're starting a little bit warm up. I hope they all get along. Birds of paradise. Beautiful. Yes, I just look at it so pretty. Okay, I'm, just gonna... I'm not risking it for the best sketch trying to get in there. <laughs> okay, then keep it in our container because I'm gonna refill it for her. Now I'm gonna head to McNaughton's because I wanna pick up some vermiculite, some purulite, some soil, a few more extra pods and anything else I find in the seasonal section. And we're gonna come home and plant up the pods, make some tags for them. Actually, I'm thinking of a creative way to do my tags, but right now I just don't wanna forget any of the names of them. So I'm gonna head there. 
Now that I'm home and I picked up a couple of new pots and some extra soil, I'm excited to get replanting some of the pots that I already have. They've actually grown out of some of the sizes of pots that they've been already in. And then I have some new plants that are still in their nursery pots that need to get into the right type of pot to be around the house. So right now, because we're renovating, my plants would normally be dispersed as decor throughout the whole house. But because we're doing this huge renovation coming up, we just have everything at this window to make sure that everything gets ample light. So not only today am I gonna replant everything, but I wanna make sure that everything has been dusted. Number one way to get proper photosynthesis in your plants is to make sure that they're dust free, which is not happening right now with all of the drywall sanding and woodwork that we've been doing. Gunner's enjoying his new bones. <laughs> it's just, you Excuse know you can me. hear it. So Excuse it's me, like, mister. hey. What do you got? What do you got, Gunner? Basset hounds, plants, and dog bones. <laughs> and warm tea. It's not a bad day when you think about it. No. <laughs> so right now I need to make sure that I use just a really nice a warm cloth and wipe off all of the plants and just a couple of them even need little wood props that I need to tie back and now that they're growing so big. So we're gonna get to work doing a little bit of that. But one of the plants that you guys have asked me about that you saw on my plant sand video, if you missed that, make sure to watch it in the card above because it's my new favorite thing I think in the house was this DIY plant stand that Philip and I did was my Monstera Adanasi. So I want to show you that plant and I actually have a couple of babies that came off of it and they need to get put into pots because I was able to propagate them. Nothing better than being able to propagate your plants because then you have more plants. So I'm going to start with that first and show you. It is by far, I think right now, my favorite plant. And one of the things I love about it is that it can trail. I love this plant and I'm really into plants that can vine right now and trail. My idea is, is that if I put some little clips on the wall and string them up, that I could actually get them to kind of trail around, giving them a little bit more character in the house. But I absolutely love this plant. And usually I find this one with maybe just one vine, but I think I have about 10 vines, eight or 10 vines coming out of this plant. And actually I was able to take a big piece of this plant so this is my actual mother plant that I have. And when I first bought the plant, it was kind of overgrown into the little pot that it had. And I just separated a piece of it to be able to have sort of a second plant starting since I had so many vines in this one. And from that, I've been able to get this tiny little baby that I've just been propagating to get some roots. You can see I have some really nice fresh baby roots in there. And this little baby needs to get into some soil today. So I'm pretty excited because this is the first time I've propagated this type of plant. So adorable, I now have three and I'm excited to get this in. So this way, you guys have asked me about this in several of the videos and I'm excited to see just how long I can get some of these trails to go. You can see I've got quite a few in here, which is really nice. So I do actually have a love of Monsteras and I'm going to show you a couple other ones that I have and a new one that I picked up yesterday. So this is my Monstera Deliciosa and it is just basically what you would consider a typical Monstera and it just got this gorgeous new leaf here and I love how holy it is. It's one of the things that's really characteristic about this plant is obviously the shape and the size of the leaves and I love how usually this one likes to stand pretty nice and bright. Um, it's not getting as much sun right now that it's winter, but in the springtime, it was really standing tall and really, really strong. So I'm excited about this one and because I actually love this plant so much, yesterday I got a really great deal on a second one of these. And I loved it because the leaves were a little more holy than this one. <laughs> Should I go? I can show you how absolutely gorgeous the leaves are on this plant. And it has this great big thick stalks. So it's a little more well-established than the plant that I already had. And this was actually sort of a salvage plant from the nursery when I first got it. It was struggling a little bit and I was able to save it. So I'm not surprised that there's a bit of a difference in these, but look at how gorgeous these leaves are. So I got this one for under $30. So I was pretty excited about this one. So now I have multiple monsteras. I know it's gonna need to go in a bigger pot. And in that monstera family, I also have another plant, which is one of my favorites. So this is actually a philodendron split leaf, but it, it does very much so resemble uh, in the family of a monstera. And so I really, really love this. And again, it is a vining plant. So I'm excited to have this trail up. And you can see here, I'm getting just this teeny tiny little baby starting to uncurl at the top and some new sprouts coming all at the base here. So we need to get this into its forever pot, at least until it grows too big that I need to upgrade again. So hopefully that happens sooner than later. Because I'm excited to trail this one. 
So this is my tallest fiddle leaf fig tree. I have two and I just absolutely love fiddle leaves. There's something about the big, thick, chunky leaves that just is really pleasing to my eye. And I know that even though I have two now, they won't be the last two that I have. I do like the style when they cut them all the way up and have sort of the tree at the top. But so far right now, I'm leaving them more of a bush, see where they're gonna branch off and then I'll go from there. It's getting quite tall. So I have this one here. And then I also have this one that's not quite as big, but I am getting some sprouts for some new growth at the top. And I love when a new leaf comes in and it's so much brighter than the new ones. So I'm excited to see what the new leaves are gonna be when they come through. Ding dong, the doorbell just rang and I just got the best surprise ever in the mail and I'm dying to open it up because on the box, on the outside, it says Cricut. Uh, hello, four boxes in the mail from Cricut. What, how am I ever so lucky? So I'm going to open this up and this first box says Cricut Maker. So I'm pretty excited to open this up and see what is inside. The box is so pretty. Cricket maker? Is this real life? Amazing. Okay, let's open the next box. This also says cricket on it. Another cricket box. It's not a cricket easy press two. Look at the color. What? I have to see what color this is. I'm dying to know. I can't wait. <laughs> what color do you think it is? I have no idea. Can you see it? I can't. I can't see it. <gasps> it's so beautiful. Look. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Okay, it matches the easy press. I'm not gonna make you keep you in suspense. <laughs> so I think these are from Cricut too. Cricut. Vinyl. Premium vinyl textured me uh, metallic glossy. So nice. And permanent glossy vinyl. Do you like decals and stuff? Yes. Okay, and there's another box. This one's heavy. Oh, what's this one? Oh my goodness. Oh my. Why am I so lucky? Look at all the Cricut Essential Toolkits. Amazing. No more weeding with the small pin. <laughs> I got infusible ink cartridge. Look at this stuff. This is amazing. More vinyl. Strong bond, long lasting hieroglyphic. Strong bond, everyday iron on. Oh, permanent glossy. Look at the gorgeous colors. It's like so pretty. Easter even. Oh, Cricut infusible ink transfer sheets, infusible ink markers. There's more. There's literally more things in here. What is this? Glitter vinyl. Oh, cool. Wow, two big bolt, two big uh, rolls of the glitter vinyl. So neat. Easy press mat. Amazing. True brushed paper. I believe this is a cut mat. Cricut cut mat. Cricut, thank you so much. I don't know what I ever did to deserve this, but you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for thinking of me. If you haven't yet tried anything Cricut, go check out their website. You're definitely gonna see me doing plenty of projects with these on my channel. Okay, so this is one of the plans that I searched and searched and searched for. 
Philip and I finally found one. They're just not as easy to get in my area, but now that I found one, of course, I'm seeing them all over the place. But this is my Begonia Maculata, and this will get beautiful white flowers with a little bit of yellow inside. In the springtime, it was totally full and it was so beautiful. So I'm excited to see what it's gonna do in the spring, but it's getting so many new buds coming on all of the ends. And you can see it has outgrown my little wood sticks that I gave it only a couple of months ago. So it needs to start getting a little more support, but I love this plant. The polka dots are so cute. And I'm actually looking at maybe doing a little begonia garden inside with some of the flowering begonia types because Philip loves begonias. And so I think just the uniqueness of all the different styles you can get, definitely ones we wanna start collecting. So this one needs some extra props today. <laughs> I know the sign was given It's in the way you move And in the sound of your heart We tend to fall together Fall in love and still In the end we'll fall apart So it's hopeless that we stay close But it's the life that we chose it takes time to get it right Sleepless days and nights We just need a little more Just a little time For you and I So stay a bit longer I plan to put this plan on my open shelving in my kitchen and kind of trailing across my window frame. And so I'm excited to put this in just a little bit of a taller vase here and then kind of just a different style of pot than I normally would use because it is just one long vine. So I hope to plant it in the middle here and then have it be able to have some support with some clips across the window. I always make sure that my plants are not touching the window though because they do get cooler here because it is winter. Oh yeah, eat it out of that pot. Now can I get it into the new pot? I'm just trying to be really careful with the yeah it's a whining one so the main root well, I'm gonna have to kind of really gentle hey we got roots nice strong roots look at that oh and there's the big stalk right there all right now can I get it in gently I love that pot too with the design. Okay, I have a problem with pot collecting. <laughs> it's not only really a problem, it's more of an obsession. And I do like white pots or neutral pots that have different textures on them. I'm not as much of like a colorful pot person unless it's for outdoor planting. So I keep them pretty neutral inside. I'm making a mess, but for the sake of the plants. <laughs> I do really like it in this pot. So I'm happy that I selected this one. It's going to be eventually long enough that it can start going across that window space. I think it looks great. So I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing some of the plants that I have in the house today. When we get everything done with our renovation here, I wanna do a whole house tour where you get to see all of the plants that we have and kind of where we have them in the house and I can tell you about more of the plants. Just a lot of plants to show you in one video. So let me know. I know you guys like gave me some great suggestions on plants to get in the last video. So if you wanna see the rest of my plants all potted up in the pots and everything, go and follow me on Instagram today at, at Alicia English. I will leave it all down in the description for you and you'll get a sneak peek of what all of my plants from today have kind of got into for their pots. If you have any really unique tips for anyone that's growing plants, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being part of my journey and seeing my love of plants. I will see you on the next episode. Oh yeah, don't forget, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Philip and I are doing a battle of the DIY and you don't wanna miss it because I have some tricks up my sleeve and I'm gonna kick Phil's butt. So join me, cheer me on tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love you, see you tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think there would be any butt kicking. Oh, I, I tried to sneak that in at the end of the video, and then I was like, wait, he edits these videos. He's totally going to edit me out. But I'm going to kick his butt. <laughs>